What is going on? YouTube. We're back at it again. Game number two of week number 14. I moved the order around just a little bit. So I kind of figured out what the game plan is going to be for us here. We're going to go ahead and set this one up for St. Louis and Tacoma. And then I will be on Twitch uh, tonight for the game featuring uh, New Jersey and, uh, and Tampa Bay. Show. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that rolling, but we got to get through this game first. St. Louis and, Tan and Tacoma both know exactly where they're headed. Uh, Tacoma's going to have to wait until Season 10 to make an impact, whereas St. Louis, they want to get some momentum going into the playoffs. Uh, all things considered, they should have a, themselves a home playoff game. There's nothing that anchorage will be able to do to overtake them since st louis has the tiebreaker between the two teams so that'll put them ahead of the pack and we shall see st louis in the wild card round and they're looking to get this victory here next week starts to play off so got to make sure that you're all ready to go you know what i'm saying so to go with there let's like i said they're going to be waiting until next season and they got everything rolling uh, they had a valiant year, but they've been so up and down. You know, they, but in regards to their record, they've been more down than they've been up. And we'll go over the records of the two teams after they're done. But we got to go ahead and get the game rolling. I'm going to hit the play game button on the side. And we'll go ahead and kick this thing off. Looks like it's going to be Tacoma starting us off. And we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. As it looks like it's going to be returned past the 25-yard line here for Tacoma. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Let these two teams rumble. Best of luck. Thank you. 
Big stop, Pete. Big stop. 
The kicker on to the point after. <laughs>
the kicker on from the point after.
And St. Louis is trying to get something cooking here, trying to tie the ball game up right at the four yard line. Fontaine, she's done many a, a fourth quarter comebacks or a tie ball game type plays in the fourth. Looking for a play here and another throwaway out to the back of the end zone. No one was open. And now it's third and goal. Coming up here for St. Louis. And worst to worst thing comes to worst. As long as they don't do anything catastrophic like throw a pick, they can still try to find their way to potentially get a safety and try to get it back into a look at right side. That should be a touchdown, but then they said he got it right off of the quick out route. They get the job done, and now they need the extra point to tie it. And Montaigne does it again. That was barely in there. You see, as soon as he caught the ball, he was just just enough inside the end zone to call that a touchdown. The big extra point here to make it whole, and he is going to knock it through, and we are back to a tie ball game here, folks. Solid, solid game here, nonetheless. As St. Louis, not one to give up on the road. Now they'll have to slow down Tacoma, who does have all three of their timeouts. See if they can make something happen here. A 
that this one is going to get sent away. A minute and 17 seconds left on the clock. This one will be returned, taking it past the 20 to around the 22 yard line. That's going to make it first and 10 coming up. First and 10 coming up here for Tacoma. Looking for a man to the right side. There goes Lamar Davis pushing forward and getting a gain of four in that play. Going to make a second and six. Will we be going into extra innings for this one? We'll never know. Looking for a pass again. Section's breaking down, but the pass is off the mark. Reaching out, trying to get the first down, and he does get into the 35-yard line. Going to make it first and 10 here. Faking the handoff, looking, a quick pitch left side and caught, turn it up. There goes Zorro Lunar, not getting out of bounds. He does get inside St. Louis territory. Got to expect the timeout coming soon. And there it is right there. I'd say they're about 20 yards away from reasonable field goal range. Fifteen to twenty. Bruce Stinger does have a leg, but he's been inaccurate this game. Looking for a man here. Going to launch his right side and caught. Turn it up. Punch it now. He punched it out. It's going to be fumbled. It's picked up by St. Louis. Hurls a man trying to break free and gets out of bounds. And that's the biggest play of the game. Now St. Louis has a chance to do something here right before the end of the game. Render regulation, I should say. It's going to be a drop back looking, looking right side and going to be deflected there from Jacob Copeland. And wow, that, that could have been a little crazy. I'm not even going to lie to you if he was able to intercept that one. But what a great play there from the defense of St. Louis to get the ball back. And now they have a chance here with 18 seconds if they can find their way up the field. They're going to try to hand off. Cuts up, uses blockers to get to midfield, and not too much else is going to be third and five coming up. Need to get the stop. Drop back here for Montaigne. Takes off to run, throws it, and over the head of everybody. So that's going to make it fourth and five. Not expecting too much from that as it looks like Tacoma's going to save face. And we may have to take this one into an extra quarter. 24 to 24 is your score. St. Louis is going to look to try to pin them. Sending this one away to the left side and it's a pretty good one it's a great bounce and it rolls all the way to the one yard line but that is the end of regulation here let's go ahead and get into it as we got to see who is going to get the ball first looks like st louis is going to choose heads or tails and it is going to be tacoma who's going to start out with the football. So, interesting ball game so far. Both teams putting in a lot of work, but there's only one way to figure out who's going to win it. Let's get back into it. I'll stay on the line. You already know how we do. Overtime, I got to be on for it. As we see the return, past the 25, and stopped right there. And that's going to make it first and 10 here for Tacoma, who could win the game via a touchdown. But if they don't score, 
its next score wins and we keep on going until someone gets the victory. Starting out in the shotgun, going to fake the handoff, going to launch this middle of the field and wide open. He's turning up past the 30. Already in field goal range, looking to get one through, man, and he's going to take it himself. All it takes is one play, and it's game over. The upset is here. Tacoma said, I got to talk to my people. We got to take this one to the bridge. What a game. And Tacoma comes through with the clutch play to close it out. Final score is 30 to 24. A great set of games here <laughs> in the later portion of the season. Unfortunately for Tacoma, it won't help them get into the playoffs, but they did end on a note that they wanted to end it on. St. Louis still has some work to do. They'll play next week, so make sure you watch out for that. But wow, what a great game overall. Both teams is putting on for their city. A lot of calamity in the last three or four minutes or so. Including uh, including the big homies in St. Louis tying it up to even forcing overtime. Then getting the ball back, but they just couldn't capitalize within those last few seconds. But outside of that, a fun game nonetheless. A 75-yard touchdown pass to end the game. Uh, let's see, 32 for 45, 488 yards. Three TDs there from Sean Bridges. A great way to end his season. Montaigne, 21 for 32, uh, 344 Three touchdowns as well, but she did throw interception uh, to John Carter. We'll see the stats in a little bit, but the longest pass of the game goes to 75 yards there for Bridges. Montaigne did have a 54-yarder earlier. Great job there from her. Now, rushing-wise, Name McNamerson, 15 for 54, averaging three and a half. Uh, Dave Davin Brewer, 8 for 68, doing a great job there. Lamar Davis, 2 for 3. Sean Bridges, 1 for 1. Rebecca Montaigne only had one carry for 12, and Chris Banks had one carry for four yards. Uh, no fumbles here. And then the longest carry goes to Davin Brewer with the 18 yarder. So great job there from Big Homie Brewer. Uh, receiving wise, we'll start with the Big Homies in Tacoma. Looks like Joe Beasley led the way 11 catches, 151 yards. Great game from him. Omar Davis ended the game with that big touchdown there. Seven for 148, one touchdown. Zora Lunar, five for 52 and a touchdown. Chris Banks, four for 85 and a touchdown. Uh, Davin Brewer, four for 46. And extra magic there, one for six. Davin Brewer, the only player with the drop here from what we're seeing. And then the longest catch goes to Lamar Davis for that game winner for 75 yards. So a great job all the way through there from the big home is here in Tacoma. On the other side, though, looks like Paris Glass led the way in catches and yards, seven for 107. Kevin Lee had two touchdowns, though, six for 51, two TDs. Rocky Butterfingers, three for 41. Sir Lancelot, three for 101 and one touchdown. Hans Otavian, one for 27. Naomi McNamerson, one for 17. And that's all the user players there. Uh, looks like Lancelot and Kevin Lee each had a drop along with a bot player getting two drops and it looks like sir lancelot 54 yards on the big catch it wasn't a touchdown i believe but it was a great catch nonetheless so great job there from lancelot um defense wise uh looks like tristan mitchell is the player that has the most tackles here for st louis with nine garrett hart with eight stevie glades with seven orlando wolfgang with six 420 blunt smoke with six uh, let's see, Christopher Baker there with four, Nicholas Watt with three, Rock Blazer with two, William Thompson with two, Terrence Goldsberry with two, T uh, Jesse Lava there with two, Ansel Tavian with one, Sir Lancelot and Paris Glass each getting one as well. Uh, no tackles for loss here for St. Louis. Jesse Lava with a two sack game, uh, Nicholas Watt with one. Looking a little bit further, looks like Orlando Wolfgang there with two pass deflections. Uh, Christopher Baker there with one, 420 Blunt Smoke with one. Uh, 420 Blunt Smoke forced the fumble. Tristan Mitchell recovered it for 13 yards, and that's all the defensive stats there for St. Louis. On the other side, looks like Xavier Banks, the middle linebacker, gets seven. Uh, Seth Wallace gets six. Jacob Copeland will get six. Kentrell Galden with five. Geriatric with five. Uh, Goofy Goober with four. John Carter with four. Alpha Wolf with three, King Maximus with three, Carlton Rhodes with two, 
Patrick McGowan with two. Uh, David Koala there with two. Kaiser Washington with one tackle. Evan Hunt, Lamar Davis, and Tywire England each getting one tackle. Uh, Kentro Golden, Goofy Goober, David Koala, and Alpha Wolf each get a tackle for loss. King Maximus gets one and a half sacks to close out his season. Uh, Carlton Rhodes gets a half a sack. Great job from him. John Carter there with one INT, but didn't go anywhere with it. Jacob Copeland with two pass deflections. Goofy Goober and John Carter each get one. Uh, no false fumbles or anything like that. And that's all the defense stats there. Uh, kicking wise, both of the kickers missed at least one field goal. Uh, Daniel Carlstown missed one. Bruce Stinger missed two. But it didn't really hurt them that much since they did get the victory. They could have had to lead more. So maybe one more could have helped them get the edge. You never know. But it uh, looks like Carlstown brought in four points, as did Stinger. But Carlstown had less misses from the field goal. So we'll give the W there to Carlstown. Punting wise, uh, looks like there's only one player that did a punt, and that was from Carlstown. So I guess he won that battle too. So. He was the best kicker punter in this ball game. Uh, kick return wise, they both had five, but Lamar Davis had the bigger, better average. So he won this battle here by a couple of yards uh, in regards to the average. Punt return wise, there were no punt returns. It was either downed or in the end zone or out, out of bounds. So no punt returns there for today. Now for the game, Carlstown, uh, he ended up getting the first points there for St. Louis. Then Tacoma went and got 10 points thanks to these right here. Um, in the third quarter, St. Louis was able to tie it up, and it was at 10 points for a good minute, 10 to 10 for a while, until uh, Chris Banks came through with the catch, uh, touchdown catch to start the fourth quarter. Uh, Sir Lancelot bounced back and helped them tie the ball game back up. Then Lamar Davis ran the ball in to give them the lead, but... St. Louis didn't care. They scored within the three minutes of them scoring. And then they went to overtime. And all it took was one play. Lamar Davis found the seam. He didn't get touched since he caught the ball. So that is going to end this ball game. We're going to go ahead and transition into Twitch pretty soon. And this will be the game that you will see. New Jersey needs to get the victory. If they beat Tampa Bay, New Jersey will be a playoff team. If Tampa Bay does win, if Tampa Bay wins, they secure the number two seed, no matter what happens, no matter who goes in. So that's pretty much what's going to be happening here. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you watch out for that. They have the same record. So this will be the biggest game up to this point. And we'll see if the game to close out the week will matter even more if New Jersey happens to lose. So make sure you watch out for that. We'll be on Switch again. Should be a fun ride. Hopefully we get it packing up in here tonight. So make sure you watch out. Stay tuned and we'll talk to you later. Ah.